Hi, this is Aretha, your soul stylist, and I'm here today to talk about some of the visibility issues that people have in expressing themselves authentically and why they, why they need a soul stylist, why you might need a soul stylist. Let me tell you, there are two types of people that I help, and they are people with either exterior image problems or interior image problems. So let's go into the first category, the exterior image problems. You can spot these people right away. Um, there's a woman that I know that has, that wears foundation makeup uh, that's about four side, or four shades too dark and it's smushed all over her face and it's not blended in and it looks like a four year old slapped her makeup on for her and it's very distracting and it's so upsetting to me because i don't well know her well enough to talk to her about it but that's an that's an example um i also worked for a doctor who would put sometimes come in with two different colored shoes on in the morning because he got dressed in the dark this is another person with an exterior image problem um there are people that get in trouble at companies for dressing too sexy there's too much cleavage showing um I have a beautiful, beautiful woman that I know that wears so much makeup that it's distracting because it's like you're looking through a mask to get to her and she is stunningly gorgeous. So there's a lot of younger women I notice that are they're wearing so much makeup that it actually distracts you from how pretty they are. So I think I think in the area of makeup and cosmetics you have two you know two different groups you have people who don't wear enough or they don't know how to apply it or it's really bad or you have well you have people that don't wear enough or people that wear it way too much or really badly like the people with the drawn on brows please don't do that don't do it <laughs> there are no hard lines on your face and that's something we'll get into in another video the only line is really when you look at a child you'll see one line across their, their lashes. That's really the only hard line. Everything else is soft, you know, and so that's, um, you don't wanna see hard lines on your face. Anyway, it makes you look old, honey. Don't do it. Um, and that's why also guys don't want the unibrow. You wanna, you wanna create, you know, uh, some space here and try to shape brows so they, they go up. You don't, you want to not try to not have just a straight line here. Um, anyway, see, I got a little too technical. I, I cannot promise not to ramble in these videos because I, I, it's just so natural for me to give too much information. <laughs> Okay, so you guys have got it. Exterior image problems. Now, here's the really interesting thing about exterior image problem people. Sometimes they really just don't know that they have a problem. And I think that's a huge amount of the people in this group. And, and you know, if people refer to me, I'm, I can very tactfully help people with this and say, you know, I don't, I don't think this is making the most of your beauty. That's one way you could say it. Um, so that's a whole nother area of how you help people understand. But some people in this category, they just don't care. They don't have time for it. They're busy professionals. They just don't have time to notice that they've got horrible panty lines or that they've got you know, dandruff all over their clothes. Um, there's just so many people in this category. Um, but they, they have wardrobe malfunctions, okay? Um, and their image takes them out. And this is how they're in. If this is you, this is how this could be affecting your life. Maybe you're an amazing expert and people are really trying to talk to you and they can't even talk to you because of the dandruff on your shoulder or the, you know, the skin problems or something is so distracting about you and this is another thing i've been noticing people like sticking their finger in their ear and like looking at it while they're talking to you don't do that that's gross please don't do that or people you have you know and the nice things that we know we can all help each other with in this category you know is to say oh um you have a little piece of food in your teeth and by the way if you're my friend and you don't do that you're in so much trouble or somebody has a booger in their nose like we know how to do those things but to say to somebody hey your makeup it's it's so distracting me 
And, and that's a really gentle way of saying, or your cleavage is distracting me. <laughs> that happens. Um, so the problem is, is in this particular area is that it takes people out of looking like an expert when they have these issues. So consider hiring a stylist or, or get your esthetician to look at your face and skin. Make sure you don't have blackheads in your ears. You know, just you, you, get, you can have an inner circle of friends who can, who can talk to you about these things. And if you want to hire a professional to help you, maybe you've tried to heal your skin or, you know, things are something you don't know what to do dandruff out of control or whatever you know hire somebody you know okay so the second area is a person who has interior image issues so they may look just all that in a bag of chips on the outside but they are terrified um, of of either making a mistake or being seen um, in public standing up in front of crowds um, they they're worried that maybe there's something they're missing they're just insecure and not confident even though their exterior image they just might look like the goddess you know and this is so many people you wouldn't believe it you would not believe how many people are like this because there's so many beautiful people in the world but they have interior image problems that they don't feel gorgeous they uh, they're not sure about their expert status like I don't know I don't really feel like an expert maybe I shouldn't get on video maybe I shouldn't start my business maybe I'm not ready because I just don't know and they've really just been picked apart probably by a parent or teachers or their family and they just have a big hole in their confidence and that is people that I love to help uh, restructure and rebuild that foundation in your life if you never got it at home um, or any kind of confidence issue that is people who have interior image problems and a lot of people assume that that just because someone looks great on the outside that that they're confident that they're oh well you know what it's like to be beautiful you know what it's like to be skinny you've never had any problems and that's that's kind of rude and insensitive because you just don't know where people came from you know um i had i had a lisp when i was a little girl i had i had to go to speech therapy i forget about that a lot of times um, I had braces. I mean, <laughs> a lot of us spent a long time being a geek. <laughs> okay. So a lot of us have really had to practice this stuff. So, um, just don't make any assumptions when you're talking about people's image. And know it is a very, uh, a very, we need to be gentle. We need to be gentle with people, but we also do need to let people know if something is a problem. So um, that is one thing that I wanted to talk about today. Those are two types of people that I help. And I really appreciate you visiting aretha.com, A-U-R-E-T-H-A. And I hope this video has helped you to understand the two different kinds of people who need some help with styling.